yeah, I'm in the front row Got my two tickets, homie, I'm in the front row The best place to be, I'm in the front row Hi, this is Shireen Ryan for In the Front Row at Lake Show Life. We have the pleasure and privilege of talking to head coach of the Defenders, Kobe Carl. Nice to see you again, Kobe. So are you excited about this season? What's, what's, what's getting you excited about this season? Uh, our guys. You know, our guys and our staff have been awesome. You know, training camp has been a pleasure. Everything we've tried and everything we asked them to do, they've been doing it with their whole heart. And, um, so I'm excited to finally get some, get them on the floor and get that reward of playing in games and competing. And I noticed uh, it's there's only one huge person on your team, so there's two centers. So I was wondering, is are we are you going more small ball or is 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 are, is it changed? Like, um, yeah, I think you know in my experience in the D League, there's uh, the smaller guys are usually the guys that you get. That's probably why they're here and have to prove that they can play bigger than their size and or play multiple positions. So uh, you know. I don't know. I, I guess once we get in the game and, and we see what's successful and how guys handle situations, then we'll know for sure. But, uh, you know, I think we will have some smaller lineups on the floor. And, you know, you played in the D League, so I was wondering how it's changed from when you played and now. Has anything changed? Yeah, no, a lot's changed. Um, you know, organizationally, it's just different. I think uh, teams are, you know, parent teams are putting a lot more money and a lot more. Uh, um, you know, of their energy into the teams, and, and I think it shows with this organization its growth since I played here. And um, they were one of the first, but they're they're keeping up with it and, and staying ahead of the curve. Um, you know, just facilities and um, you know, just the little things, probably more than anything. But it's it's always been a good league, and, and guys have a lot of fun playing in it. And, uh, but the players are getting better, the staffs are getting better, um, organizations are getting better, so it's just uh, every year. That's great. So you were raised by a coach and you've had a lot of coaches in your life, you know, from college to the pros. Um, which coaches have made the biggest impression on you and what are you kind of channeling that you liked? You know, what did you pick up from them that you liked that you're using? Yeah, no, I, I've been around coaches my whole life, so it's... Uh, it's been there's there's a long list. Uh, obviously, my father was, you know, my coach from day one, and uh, you know, I played for Phil. He was a huge influence, and even to this day. And um, then the, the the other guys that really had a, a big impact on the daily basis was being in the gym with them, were the assistant coaches, um, Tim Bergerich, who's with the Bucks now, and John Welsh, who's with the Clippers now, and Chad Iskey, who's with the War or Wizards now, who worked with my father and. Um, all those assistant coaches, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff, the, the more of the, the hard work stuff was, uh, was those guys. And then do you, um, I know Coach Owens had a brick. I don't know if he gave you the brick. Did he give you the brick and do you know what it is? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm familiar with the brick. Actually, Nick Mazzella, ha Nick Mazzella has it in his office. So I think that was for last year. Um, we're going to come up with our own identity, but uh, that was a special time for those guys. And obviously they did great things behind that. Um, but we'll, we'll figure something out for us. So chemistry is big, you know, on a team. We've seen that over and over again. Um, and I heard, overheard you at practice that you guys are all going to watch the Cubs uh, Indians World Series game. So, what kind of things are you guys doing to bond? Um, you know, uh, the energy that these guys put in on a daily basis is plenty of bonding. Uh, but when we do get opportunities, we want them to enjoy life outside of basketball. And if, if you know, if we're on the road, you know, we'll find opportunities to get together, whether it's eating or. Uh, you know, I don't know. Those we'll see. I'll let you know when we get the through them. But but yeah, that, we did. You know, get some pizza for the guys and have them watch it in the video room, and if they wanted to. Um, but you know, that's, a, that's something for these guys to figure out. It's their team and um, and their, their relationships with each other is going to make us strong. And I, I really enjoy watching the defenders. I mean, I'm a big fan fan first. Um, what is it that you know? What tell Laker fans why they should come out and support the defenders? I mean, I could go on and on, and I will. But from you, like, why should they come out here? I mean, they could sit in the second row. That's one thing I <laughs> realized. Yeah. No, it, it's to be able to sit as close to action as this facility provides is is a very unique experience. And even even myself, this this uh, this preseason, I was able to watch the Lakers courtside. And uh, I don't think I've had that experience many times in my life, and it's really unique because uh, you really appreciate the athleticism, the speed, the physicality, um, and so that that in itself, just watching professional basketball players and athletes play up close, and uh, you get to see these guys who are seven feet tall, six nine, moving like they do. It's pretty awesome. 
And then, uh, you know, we probably have six guys that could be NBA players next year. So, uh, you know, we got a ton of guys with a ton of talent uh, who are trying to prove something, and, and they're going to work together as a unit to do that. So it'll, it, it'll be a fun process, you know. Watching a game here, you could see them on the Lakers court within a week or the next day. I, I really thank you for your time. And you heard Coach. you got to come see the defenders. Believe me, I'll be behind there watching and reporting on it. Thanks a lot, Coach, for your time. Appreciate it. Take care.